Commander Chris Ferguson is the man who will take the last shuttle into space until he brings it safely back. There's no time for sentiment. I'm not sure how much space that's going to take up. He and the crew of Atlantis are making the final preparations. This a run through of docking the shuttle with the International Space Station. At that moment, the two will be travelling at 17,500 miles per hour, 200 miles up. Is this duct tape on? There's no margin for error. Nicely done, Bam. Copy that. The other shuttles have already made their final journeys when Atlantis, like its sister Discovery here, touches down and heads for a museum. It will be a significant moment for NASA. It'll rely on Russian rockets until commercial space travel can do the job. They put a brave face on what is undoubtedly a difficult time for everyone here. This is all I've known in the space program as far as the time I've been here as a space shuttle. And I think, you know, it's probably like an, an old car that you get used to and you love to drive, but eventually it's time to move on. And we've come to that point. So it's been a fantastic vehicle. It's done its job remarkably well. I don't think the general public realizes how truly uh, um, technical and how, you know, th this is an amazing, amazing vehicle. 4,000 people will lose their jobs at the Johnson Space Center in Houston when the shuttle mission ends. It's a place where space touches every part of the community. One veteran of the first shuttle launch 30 years ago says it will be a tough transition. They could all be making more money as doctors and, and engineers and computer scientists and pilots elsewhere. Uh, they'll be all right, but it's still, it's still worrisome to a lot of them. And yet they're keeping, as they say in English, they're keeping their head in the game. They are concentrating because they realize that the simplest loss of concentration anywhere can, can collapse the entire project, can, can delay it, can lead to disaster. But with all of those worries, this rare behind-the-scenes access to the shuttle program has its lighter moments. NASA is proud of all of its technology. It all goes to make up the NASA story, just as the control room for the Apollo program now stands as a ghostly echo of the past. Soon, like all this, the shuttle and its team will be just another chapter of that history. Greg Milam, Sky News, Mission Control, Houston.